Right, come on, let's get this over with. They have finally announced the Booker shortlist, and I live in Sydney, so it happened overnight. And I woke up this morning, and my friends were messaging me, telling me to come out day drinking with them. And I said, no, nah, give me an hour, I'll come in an hour, I have to react to the fucking Booker Prize shortlist. So I had no idea what to put in a shortlist prediction, because considering that I think most, if not all, of the books are very mid, and I think a lot of people feel that way, uh, it was hard for me to determine what the judges would think was particularly quality. Um, so my prediction was basically just darts at a dartboard. I just, I just made some random guesses, and I wanted to see if I would get more right than people who actually put logic into it. Um, so, you know, there you go, that's my list. Uh, bing bong, bing bong. In terms of what I want, I don't want Old God's Time on the list at all, because I find that book to be, like, contemptuously bad, and, like, deliberately boring, uh, and, and very, uh, disrespectful of the audience's patience and time, and it felt like bait for the, for the judges to lap up anyway, so if it makes it on, I'll be very mad. Um, I don't want to see House of Doors on there, uh, because that's also, that also feels like bait, and it feels like it could have been more complex and interesting than it was, and it just refused to be. Um, I, in terms of what I would like, uh, I love seeing this other Eden on there, of course. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I, I really love this other Eden, and I'm the only one who does, so I would be very excited to see that on the short list. And I'd also like to see Western Lane on the short list as well. That book has really grown on me. In terms of how my ratings have changed since the videos that I've made, I'd say that I'd bump Western Lane up to a 7, and I'd boot Old God's Time down to a 3, so there we go. I am actively rooting for and praying that How to Build a Boat gets on the short list, because not only will I win $60, if it wins the prize, but it will also be funny. <laughs> right, let's get started. Remember last year when they announced the shortlist in a fucking grain silo it looked like? What are they gonna do this year, a sewer outlet? God, she is so well-spoken and she sounds so, yeah, articulate and earnest. <laughs> I can't make fun of this. What, 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 where's the content here? The shortlist for the Booker Prize 2023 right, is... go. Study for Obedience wow. by Sarah Bernstein. Cool. Cool, that's fine. That's a 6 out of 10. That's fine. That's fine. I like that book. That's cool. Bernstein's urgent, <laughs> beautiful prose oh my God. upsets Lean off all the our expectations. If I Survive You oh. by oh, Jonathan Escoffrey. <laughs> right, so I am currently 0 for 2, I think. This Other Eden hey, fuck by you. Paul Harding. Yes! Thank you, Essie. I know you were the one who championed that. Yes, good. Oh, please let it win. Christ. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Based ah. on an almost nearly ah. forgotten history, ah. hey. Paul Harding's lovely hey. hymn transports us hey. to the heart's of the pulse. Boom, boom, boom. The arrival oh, of what a high pop. What a high pop, baby. brings with it the unwelcome attention of the world at large. Come on, come on. With hey. catastrophic hey. 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 Prophet Song by Paul Lynch. Wow, that's insane. Okay, I didn't predict that. Again, I know a lot of people are going to be mad Paul about that. Lynch's Come on. Western Lane yes! by Chet Oh, beautiful. Great. Wow, that's cool. From the shoulders so far, I wasn't expecting that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And finally, The Bee Sting wow. by Paul Murray. Okay, holy shit. So Boat and Old God's Time Miss, yes. So thank you all again for okay. coming. Okay. Did I get three? I look forward to seeing you again. I got three. Billingsgate okay. On the no pearl. I predicted a spell of good things, but if I survive, you beat it. Booker Prize 2023. Hmm. And profit song I didn't expect. Will be broadcast on Radio um, okay. Row, and there will also be a live stream hosted by YouTuber Jack Edwards. No, Jack. No. In the meantime, we I am not. I am not. I am not consuming this through King Edward's eyes. I will not do it. All right, let's look at that list real quick. Let's look at that list real quick. All right. So, Study for Obedience is quite unexpected, I've got to say. That's, that's surprising. Um, although, people were predicting it. Personally, I didn't think they would do that and some of the other stuff. Like, what I, what I see from this shortlist is very sort of disparate ideas of what a shortlist should be. Like, particularly If I Survive You, of course. Um, and I would say also Western Lane, because I think those books imply uh, a certain type of shortlist that the that the rest of the shortlist didn't do. Like having the Beasting, Prophet Song, and this other Eden. They're all apparently very kind of 
uh, I'd say complicated books, and then you have such softer ones like Western Lane, and honestly, Study for Obedience isn't that complicated, even though I would say there's nuance to it. I've only read three of them, and I only predicted two of those three, so I now have to read If I Survive You, Prophet Song, and The Bee Sting. I can't believe I read eight out of the long list, and they still managed to pick three out of the remaining five that I didn't touch. I have only heard bad things about If I Survive You and Prophet Song, except for a couple of YouTubers who like Prophet Song. Uh, apparently everyone loves The Bee Sting. Uh, I, the only reason I stayed away from it was because it was quite long and I didn't have a lot of time on my hands, but I, after November 1st I will, so that'll be the last book I review. The other two I'll try and get around to sooner, um, but that's a, that's, that's an okay shortlist. We had the two that I really wanted, and we didn't have the two that I fucking detest, so let's go baby, let's go baby, ah! Out of that list, I don't think they will pick this other Eden, even though that's clearly what I want to win, because this other Eden feels like it doesn't have a lot of direct social relevance to it, although I guess you can argue that. Um, but especially with some of the judges on the, on the panel, I don't think they'll pick that. I think it, personally, it's between The Beasting and Western Lane. I think Western Lane could take it because it's actually good, uh, and it's very sweet and easy to like and middle brow, and I feel like the, the judges could, could, take to that. And it's also diversity because I think it's a, is it an Indian author that wrote it? I'm not quite sure, but they can do the diversity card and be like, we picked it because it's so diverse and it, sh it has such a unique voice, uh, even though it's just a good book and it shouldn't be focused on that. And the bee sting, everybody seems to like. It's big, it's chunky, and it seems like it has a lot of social relevance. It seems like it's about uh, Ireland after financial crises, some bullshit, I don't know. Um, but I, uh, people think that could win, and I, I guess that will probably be what I predict at the end of the day. Right, thanks guys. I That that put me in a good mood. I can't wait to go out drinking now. Uh, cheers, boys. Have a good one. I will review the next three books intermittently. Um, I will not be reviewing them straight away. I will be taking my time because I have a lot of work from now until about the end of October. So I'll have that month to read those books and, and, and comment on them. Um, so you won't be getting any more Booker content from me until November, basically. I'm, I'm done with it for now. Alright, GG. Uh, bye!